I've lost almost all faith in humanity after the pandemic. Like, I think the dumber, as the bigger the group gets, the dumber it gets. So that's why, like, I'm almost empathetic to the elites that don't want to interact with us. Oh, dude, I I, I totally get where Bill Gates. is. I'm saying I get no. where Bill Gates. He's like, just give them all the vaccine. <laughs> shut up. Just you know, go about your business. No, no, hold on, hold on. Anybody who's run a large company understands the frustrations of what can go wrong will go wrong, and you know, like running this company. There are things that happen where it's like, I am genuinely shocked that something happened. Like, I don't understand how explicit instructions of take A to B and then do C turns into X, Y, and Z. And I'm like, I, I, how did this How did this happen? And, and no one has an answer. And I'm like, experiencing that, I'm like, ah, uh, so, now, so, so now I get it. Bill Gates with his, you know, how many hundred thousand employees at a certain point, his just eyes, his eyes are bleeding. They're bloodshot. And he's like, why did you put the mop in the server room? And it's just like, I, I don't know, sir. And he's like, ah! and then it, his head explodes. <laughs> because most humans, we are, I, I hate to admit it, we're all kind of dumb. I, I bet if you asked 10 people on the street, 80% probably wouldn't know who Kamala Harris is. Probably two oh, people no, would I know. Agree. I mean, the majority wouldn't. So people are just not dialed in. They're they're in debt. They're you know have an ex girlfriend, baby mom, or whatever. Just they're they're not dialed into what's really happening in the world because they're so distracted. And we're all basically debt slaves just trying to make it. I I, I do. I, I, in all seriousness, I do think people like Bill Gates and a bunch of the other wealthy, powerful elites. I I, I think if you were to talk to them, for one, they're they're Malthusian. They do think there's too many people, and they will legitimately tell you. I mean, I'm sure if you're hanging out at Bilderberg with a lot of these powerful international elites and politicians, they're going to say, look, man, think about how stupid the average person is. OK, now realize half of them are stupider than that. Mm -hmm. And they vote. And that's like so that's half of that. The first half was George Carlin. But that's probably what they're thinking. And they're thinking we don't want stupid people to have political power. And so what do you get? Look at what's going on with uh, everything politically in terms of uh, abortion, sterilization, etc. This is not not a detriment to conservatives who are more resilient, more uh, self -re self uh, reliant, and uh, protective of their kids. It's it's mostly detrimental to urban liberals. The COVID lockdown policies mostly negatively impacted urban liberals. All the things we see defund the police, bad for liberals, conservatives, and then the people flee to more conservative areas where they can be more resilient and, 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 you know, resolved. And then it is the leftists who are suffering tremendously under their own policies that's resulting in them, and then in them having less kids. Yeah, I, I understand that. But, you know, people having less kids is bad for society and civilization in general. Yes, but if conservatives have twice as many kids, which they're probably going to start they doing, should. then problem solved. But we can never have more kids than Venezuela's having. I mean, they have a culture. <laughs> I mean, I, seriously, they have a culture. I, I doubt they're doing a lot of abortion. So... They can just let people come in from other countries. My biological stepdad, Tucker Carlson, you know, gets a lot of heat for saying the Great Replacement Theory. But I don't know. It would be hard to debate that if you really look at this, our immigration policy. This is a really good idea. Powder PZ says to send 100 clowns to D.C., each with a senator's name and badge. And whenever they see the senator, they, they go there and they start dancing. And <laughs> that's actually a really good idea to just have like. You know, someone waits outside, and then when they see the center walking in the car, the clown starts is, is behind camera going like. Doo, that doo, would be doo, funny. Doo, 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 doo. With kids and like the value of having children um, equating to like the species propagating, I wonder if there's a, I, there's got to be a diminishing return. I, I think that like yeah, you can have four kids. That's maybe better than having three. But if you have nineteen kids, you don't have time for nineteen kids. A lot of those kids are going to grow up without a parent. So like that's worse. I don't well, know that sort that's of, the, the siblings help a lot. Yeah, in and those also situations like in the past, like people like families have had as many kids as they could in the like anticipating some of them dying off so you could you can still manage yeah, to like raise a, like bees that's what bees do I mean, you know, they have a ton of babies <laughs> and then a bunch die but some survive the, po the point is though but like a hundred years ago families were much larger before any kind of birth control people weren't like no we don't want to have sex because we might have kids like they were still getting it on and you had big families and stuff like that so 